Hello everyone, my name is Jose Rivera and today I'm going to give you a Pecha Kucha style presentation on Open Grid Map. So what is Open Grid Map? Open Grid Map is a project of the Chair of Application and Middleware System of the Technical University of Munich. And uh, it is a prototypical platform that supports the collection of power grid data and our goal is to produce um, simulation models uh, to be used in research. So what we say is that we digitalize the world's power grid to answer tough questions. So how did everything get started? We started asking ourselves a very simple question and it's can we simulate the world's power grid? Now the reason why we ask this is because um, with the, the threat of global warming we need to be able to offer answers as researchers on how to supply clean energy to everyone in the world. So what we found is that there is a lot of uh, methods and models already available in the literature and also computing power is quite available. But one of the things that is very difficult to get is data, uh, accurate data uh, to be used openly for research purposes. So what is the issue with power grid data? Well, one does not simply get power grid data. Usually you have to talk to utilities and uh, sign an NDA in order to get data which severely limits the way how you can use and share this data. The other problem is that uh, collecting this data is a massive undertaking which uh, so usually these data sets are not always up to date and especially if you go to developing countries um, this data is not always digitalized. Uh, things get even more complicated when you go down to the distribution level as you see here at this level, it is quite messy and difficult to actually get accurate data. One logical question to ask is the, why hasn't anyone solved this? Well, the thing is that there is a disconnect sometimes between, especially between academia and reality. In academia, we tend to use very simplified models as you see here, which don't really reflect uh, how things are. Uh, in the industry, they are pretty busy digitalizing this data. And when you go to reality, it is just very messy to get uh, an accurate uh, view on how the system is. So collecting and maintaining this energy data is very expensive and painful, uh, especially at the distribution level. So in Open Grid now we are actually uh, crowdsourcing power grid data. So we use the power of the crowd in order to make this very difficult task uh, a lot easier. And uh, we support the entire workflow from the collection of this data, the verification uh, with incomplete data and things like that. You have to do some inference and at the end offer a way how to provide a model that allows uh, analysis. Regarding the collection, we have made a heavy use of the OpenStreetMap dataset which uh, for uh, power has over 18 million elements map. So in Open Grid Map, we have imported this data set and presented uh, for view. Um, and we also contribute uh, points that we uh, are able to map uh, back to OpenStreetMap. One thing we found about importing the uh, power elements of Open street map is that a lot of them are just wrongly tagged or are just not verified and uh, most of it if you go down to the distribution level uh, you cannot get that data always from satellite imagery so what we develop is an own uh, mapping application which allows you to take pictures of different devices uh, related to power and upload it to our platform and this application can be found already on the play store We have also looked into other ways of collecting data, uh, for example, using uh, hobby drones. This allows you to collect more accurate data and uh, also do some 3D modeling, which um, again allows you to do measurements and get more characteristics on power grid elements like uh, photovoltaics. And this data also flows into uh, the platform. A very important issue is uh, data verification. So even now when we have the app and we get uh, power elements, pictures, 
together with the GPS coordinates it is sometimes difficult to differentiate between different elements uh, if you're not trained in power system you might think uh, B could also be a transformer but uh, in this case it is actually A and uh, automatizing uh, this process is something we are looking into a very important issue in our research is also the data inference uh, one usually gets incomplete data of a power grid and uh, you have to make smart estimates in order to get a cohesive model to do simulations on for example here uh, you can see the different transformers uh, on a city however the power lines they are underground so you have to come up with a method in order to guess uh, how the power lines are run uh, through the city this is an example for the city of Garshing uh, in order to do an inference on how the power lines uh, could look like there uh, we have uh, here the transformers and the first thing we do is a Voronoi partition in order to segment the area and assign uh, transformers that are supposed to supply uh, an amount of houses uh, once you have the segmented area then you have to connect the transformer to all the houses on each uh, uh, section and for that you can use several uh, algorithms in this case you see here the result when you use uh, minimum spanning tree so this offers a guess on how the power grid could look like or main interest is to get a statistical significant uh, guess and not to get the exact uh, way how the power line goes although that is also possible as more data comes in the last step on the open grid map workflow is the analysis part so what we want is to take the data that we have and uh, automatically generate simulation ready models for example for power flow fold or planning purposes Here you see, for example, what we have done with the power grid in Germany, where we have a topology model and we also offer a simulation ready models where you can already uh, run uh, a power flow. And this model is in uh, uh, MATLAB Simulink, for example. We also have uh, a lot more high voltage power grid models available. We have models for uh, North America, for most countries in Europe, a lot of countries in Africa and Japan that we have the inferred. And uh, these models can be found on our website and they are freely available for use for anyone who's interested. Currently, we're working heavily on the developing middle voltage and low voltage models. One important question to answer is why now? Why do an uh, open map of the power grids? Well, as you all know, uh, we're all trying to come up with solutions to global warming and the energy transition is uh, one of them. And this uh, requires uh, a lot of changes on the power system. And in order to make changes, one thing we need is a very, a very good map. Now, uh, from the researcher's perspective, there is currently a lot of decisions being taken at governmental level on how to go about this. And if we as researchers want to contribute to this discussion, we have to be able to provide advice uh, based on uh, accurate and actual data. So currently we are uh, very heavily looking into ground truth data about distribution grids. So uh, we would like to uh, just test the effectiveness of our inference algorithm uh, to infer distribution grid data. So uh, if you have any that you could make available to us, we'll certainly be very interested on that. Another thing we're looking for is of course, uh, very important always mentors. That's why uh, Mr. Miyagi is there. If you have experience on this area or have any opinion uh, regarding that, is uh, please please contact us. And finally, in, 
not last but not least uh, we're looking for friends or people interested in using the data so if you're doing research uh, or have a project and you think this data could be useful to you uh, please check our website and feel free to use it uh, all of our code is open source and the models are open available and uh, if you think there's something we can improve or or, or make better to help you uh, in your research please please contact us so uh, thank you very much and uh, please uh, visit our website opengridmap.org and if you have any questions or concerns or opinions just uh, just send me an email and, and I'll sure I'll be I'll make sure to get back to you thank you very much and I hope uh, now it's a lot clearer what the project is about thank you